in this video i'll show you how to run linear regression analysis using zamovi software in order to do the linear regression let me import the data set so part of this data set i do have variables like life satisfaction family satisfaction job satisfaction or family balance so these are the four variables i have so here for this example purpose i'm going to consider life satisfaction as one of the dependent variable and then this rest of the three variables will be considered as a independent variable now go to regression menu and then select this linear regression so here you just drag this life satisfaction into dependent variables and then work family ba balance js fs into covariate box if you have some categorically measured independent variable that can be included in the factors box that's the way how you can run the analysis so this model option a model builder option is useful whenever you are trying to do hierarchy linear regression where uh, in the first block you can include your control variable in the second block you can include your uh, main independent variables so for that purpose you can use this uh, model builder option um, in the reference levels uh, what you can do is you can also fix the reference level if you have categorical variable here you know, when you want to use dummy coding that time you can use this option uh, certain assumptions can be checked here uh, for example autocorrelation test collinearity statistics uh, for example multicollinearity issue can be identified with the help of this collinearity statistics option normality test can be done so these are the few things you can explore here cook's distance is useful in terms of identifying the outlier data points so this model fit option will give you just a r square value and then aac bac rmsc these are all the metrics useful for uh, comparing the models basically f test will give you the overall model fit value in the model coefficients by default here in the coefficient table you will get unstandardized regression coefficients if you want to uh, get the standardized uh, estimates you can check this standardized estimate checkbox so that here you will be able to get the beta values basically um, if you want to save the predicted values in your data set you can use this predicted values if you want to save your residual values you can also select this residuals uh, uh, if you go back to your data set you will be able to get these outputs also so this is the way how you can run linear regression using zamovi uh, if you look at this result let me drag this little bit yeah if you look at this result so based on this result what i can what i can conclude is the overall model is significant and the r square value is uh, 0.628 which means that 62.8 percent of the variance is explained by work family balance job satisfaction and family satisfaction and life satisfaction and the overall model is significant because the p value is significant and here you have the standardized estimates here you have the t values so basically this t values are computed by uh, dividing your standard error values with the unstandardized regression coefficients and based on the t values you can also uh, uh, compute the p value basically if the p values are less than uh, 0 0.05 that is uh, that particular coefficient is significant at 95 percent confidence limit so in this case almost all of the coefficients are uh, significant because i'm getting uh, for work family balance p value is uh, 0 0.003 for rest of the two variables i'm getting uh, really um, i mean uh, uh, good p values because these two p values are uh, significant at 99.9 percent .9 confidence limit this one is also almost significant at 99 percent confidence limit this is the way how you can look at this result uh, now you can also explore some more thing here for example if you go to this regression tab let me open this regression tab once again um, if you want to do hierarchical linear regression what you can or hierarchical regression analysis what you can do is you just include your entire set of variables in the covariate and for example in this example i'm going to consider age as one of the covariate that has to be included in the first block and then rest of the variables will be included in the second block and the life satisfaction will be considered as a dependent variable so here what you can do is you can um, uh, go to this model builder option so in the model builder option you can in the first block you can exclude this uh, 
fs js work family balance you just keep only age and then in the block 2 you just drag the three variables so now you will get now you will get uh, two different model results basically for model 1 the explained uh, r square value is 0 0.153 15.3 percent of the variance is explained by age and life satisfaction and overall model is significant and then uh, with respect to the second model the r square value is uh, 0 0.797 and you always look at the adjusted r square value when you have two different models in your uh, uh, regression analysis if you see the model 1 and model 2 comparison there exists a statistical difference so this is a way how you can understand this and here you can specifically uh, uh, look for the intercept constant and then age uh, coefficient for model 1 and then you can also ask i mean uh, look at the values for uh, model 2 this is how you will be able to run hierarchical regression analysis using this particular uh, software uh, for example, in the previous analysis, we have asked the system to provide predicted and then residual values, right? So here you will be able to see the predicted values. These predicted values are nothing but based on the obtained coefficient values. Once you substitute your uh, observed uh, scores in your equation, you will be able to estimate the y values. This is nothing but y hat values. And this is nothing but residuals. Residuals are nothing but the difference between your observed score versus your predicted score for example here my observed life satisfaction score for this particular response is 4.00 predicted score is 4.427 the difference is minus 0.427 this is a way how the system is populating the residual values in your data set um, you can also explore a lot more things with the help of this regression for example in the uh, model builder option you do have one more provision called creating the interaction effect basically you can create two way interaction three way interaction four way interaction five way interaction even that can be uh, automatically done with the help of this particular option that is also possible whenever you are trying to run moderation analysis that time you can use this particular option yeah that's it that's all about the regression thank you